So here I am back here once again. Welcome or welcome back. And I'm going to go ahead and cash off my 100 envelope challenge as well as my weekly saving challenge from my weekly cash flow. Basically, what I do every week is when I get the cash from the bank and I just tuck it to the back here of this binder in this lovely little pocket. And um, all these binders are available on my Etsy store. And I just have the cash here for when I'm ready to cash stuff because if I leave it until the last minute, I'm going to forget and then I'm not going to be prepared. Right? Okay, so let's see how much cash we have here. So this is my weekly binder and then this is my 100 envelope challenge binder. I'm just gonna put that to the side here. Let's go ahead and count the cash. Let's see how much we have. 51, 52, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. Okay, I'm gonna take away 160. Right, so 160 euros is what my usual weekly cash flow is for me to cash off my weekly saving challenges as well as my um my 100 envelope challenge. And I also received a payment from YouTube. I believe it was 115 or 117. I don't remember, but I know it was a little over 100. So this extra 90 that I have here is from the YouTube funds that I would have been paid for the AdSense for the month of January, because it's always a month after, okay? So whatever money I made in January, YouTube then pays it out. And this amount is reflective of the money that I've made less tax. I think our tax here in Ireland is around the 23 to 24%. So this is after I've taken out, take, the tax have been deducted. So again, a huge thank you to everyone that comes and watches my video. You are helping your girl get an extra couple of dollars to be able to put towards her savings challenge and achieve her financial goals. So I am very appreciative of you. All right, so we're going to put this cash here. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off with our 100 envelope challenge and your girl didn't bring her cards. Where are my cards? Let me just grab my cards. Okay, that's not my cards. Those are the cards that I have already used. Right, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, I found them. I have found the cards. Here we go. Right, okay, so. So we have my cards here. What I do for the 100 envelope challenge, if you are new to my channel, um, my 100 envelope challenge is slightly different. I do the 50 100 envelope challenge. And, oh, it's supposed to go into here, sorry all over the place today right okay so i have the tracker inside here but i keep the cash into a separate binder because it's a lot of cash and there's no way that this binder this one cash envelope is going to fit all of this cash inside here. so with my 100 envelope challenge i don't go all the way to 100 i go to 50 and then i start back at one again and i go to 50 again and then i have four five um bonus envelopes down to the bottom here and the bonuses is a wild or a bonus card and that helps me to have a little bit of excitement whilst i'm doing the 100 envelope challenge you guys know i'm always changing something i'm always looking for a way to kind of have fun all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a shuffle right okay the kids are getting a little bit noisy there just now so i needed to hush them for a few seconds okay so we're gonna go ahead and um i hope i have cash um change that's my dilemma i'm gonna go ahead and give this deck a good little shuffle and what i do is i just take a card from the center oh let's see how much we're saving today oh my goodness what we got a wild card today guys well this is exciting save the first two numbers of your atm cards mm -mm -mm. where's my wallet okay oh my goodness what does that mean if i have a nine and a two does it mean it's 92 Where's my ATM card? Okay, let's have a quick peek at my ATM card, guys. No peeking, no peeking. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Four, three. What in the world? I ain't saving no 43 to date. <laughs> no, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. We're not saving 43 today, no, sir. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save the four plus the three, which is seven. Because I know I have extra money, but I really want to finish some saving challenges. And the money from the finished saving challenges are going to go here anyway. So 
you know, work with me here, guys. So it's going to be a wild today. We're going to put in seven euros into wild. We're not putting in no 43. Not today, boo-boo. And I'm just going to grab a marker and I'm just going to go ahead and just color in bonus down here. So 43 is going to go into here. We're now done with the wild cards. Um, I've created these inserts. Um, these are available as inserts on my Etsy store. You get all of the cards, the full, I don't know how much cards. This is over a hundred cards. And all you need to do is just print them on vellum, laminate them with matte laminating sheets and just kind of, um, I need to round the corners as well and uh, cut them out to your, and just have some fun guys, right? So that is now done. We can now put this into our dead cash stash and we can close this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to hurt my head over the three euros. What we're basically going to do is just put in 10 euros in here. And we are going to use a sticker again. I need to get my stickers. So I take my stickers here and my little tweezer. I've been using my tweezer over the weekend. There's still stickers stuck on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of stick this on there. Just like so. Okay, so these cards are done. So I don't need these cards anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, that was exciting, but um, no, <laughs> no can do. That's 10. Oh my goodness. Imagine, imagine. Say, I mean, I would have loved to say 43. I thought that was really nice. Right. Okay. So do I need to write down anything here? No, I probably don't. So 100 envelope has now been cashed off. Obviously, if I have some cash left over, I can always come back to this. But like I said, the cash that I have in my finished savings challenge is actually going to be going into my 100 envelope challenge. So there's no reason for me to kind of go overboard with it because I'm going to be cash stuffing that very, very soon with some additional cash. So now my 100 envelope challenge is now done for today. I'm going to go ahead and sneak that back in there. Now, let us now move on over to our next savings challenge. This is our affirmation savings challenge. And um, I always forget to read the affirmation from the 100 envelope challenge. That was wild just now. The affirmation for wild is money flows easily and abundantly into my life. Money, USD, Euro, Canadian, Australian, British pounds, Chinese yen, um, all currencies flow easily and abundantly into my life. I have a little joke. I don't discriminate, you know? I accept all forms of cash. <laughs> right, okay. And then the affirmation February is, I am open to new and innovative ways to create wealth and abundance in my life, into my life. I am open to new and innovative ways to create wealth and abundance into my life. I got to open the door in order for money to be attracted to me. So that's what we're doing. Right. Okay. So for this savings challenge, since we are actually in the last week of February, I actually have to roll my dice three times. What is this? Oh, this came out of here. See, I'd be getting myself confused. Let me put this back in there before I get confused. So we're going to put this back in there because that came out of there. That represents all the money that we've saved in January as well as February. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and roll my die. All right, so the first number that's going to go into here is going to be five euros. So that's for the first envelope. All right, our second envelope is going to be three euros. And then our final envelope that we're going to get is going to be six. All right, so that is a total of six. Six and three is nine plus five is 14. Am I going to hurt myself over worry myself? I don't even have any small change. Um, so let's see what we have inside here because, well, actually I need to put in 14 and there's six here. So I can actually take this out, just put in a 20. Well, that worked out, didn't it? It's all right. Six and three is nine. Yeah, so I need to put in, I need to put in 14 and there's six here so I can take this back out. Oh, great. That worked itself out. Absolutely amazing. 
Right, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck this back into here. And what we are now going to do is we're just gonna go ahead and color in, I mean, cause I love coloring. So we're just gonna go ahead and color in our envelopes to let us know that we have successfully cashed off this amount into our cash envelopes. This, are, this is the marker that we use for the carrots on Build a Farm. Every time I see this color, I just think of carrots. Okay, so that challenge is now completed for the month of February. We will do a um, end of month check-in and then get our binder set up for the month of March. Okay, so we are now in the final month, the final week for February. And we need to add five euros to this savings challenge here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the five euros there. And we're going to go ahead and color in the fourth and final cash envelope for February for this month. So 20, 30, 35, 40. Do we have any small change here? I might need some small change. I'm just going to take out the 10 and just put those two fives back over here because I don't know if there's something else that I'm going to have to need some change for. All right, so we're this is now done, guys. We are now done with this savings challenge. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this back into here. Now we can move on over to our next saving challenge, and this is where we save 10 euros every single week. So we do need to add 10 euros in here. I do have it. There we go. So 10 euros now being added, and we're going to go ahead and just color in our fourth and final week for the 10 euro savings challenge. If you've received any of the, if you ordered any of these challenges and you're doing them, I would love to hear how your progress is coming along. Let me know um, either privately or down in the comment section, however you'd like. I am invested in your success. Here's the 20 euro savings challenge, or if you're depending on where you are, $20 or 20 pounds. I need to add 20 to this. So I need to make some change. So I'm going to take these two 20s and 10 out and I'm going to replace it with one of these 50s here before I put this in. Right? And now I need to add 20 euros into here as well. So I'm just going to get the 20 and we're going to be adding this in. So now we can go ahead and take off the fourth and final week for this 20 euro challenge and that is now done okay so easy peasy lemon squeezy moving on to our next weekly savings challenge for this challenge this is the 500 euro savings challenge and for this final week of february the amount that we need to save is going to be nine euros nine dollars nine pounds we have some change here as well don't we 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm going to take out one of these 50s. We're just going to swap that over because we need to get some cash going here. And I don't have 9 euros here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in a 10. And we're just going to go ahead and take this off down to the bottom here. So our fourth and final week for February for this 500 savings challenge is now complete. All right. I'm looking forward to doing my budget with me and just um, seeing what our progress is in comparison to January. Like I know January was a little bit of a cheat because we used December, some of December's money as well as January's money. So, okay, let's move on over to our next savings challenge. This is my 1000 euro savings challenge. And for the fourth and final week of February, we need to save the amount 19 euros. So for this one, I'm gonna take this one out. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and add this 20 in. We look like we have some change in here as well, 20. So we could possibly take out some cash and just swap it over 20, 40, 45, 50. So we're taking another 50 because I'm gonna need some small cash. Take that 50 out, we'll put this in. Yep, so that's all sorted. Okay, so we've added in the money and that's our fourth and final week for the 1,000 euro savings challenge now completed. All right, gonna go ahead and stuff this in. That is now done. Moving on over to our next savings challenge. This is my 2024 savings challenge. In this particular savings challenge, I, cho I choose to put in 20 or I choose to put in 24. So we still have quite, we have a lot of change in here. I'm gonna break this down as well. Um, 
Do I don't have two fives though? So I have a 20, I have a 10. And I can take out those two tens as well. So I could put, did I put the 50 here? Right? Um, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I put that there. I put that 50 there, right? I don't have no more 50s. Okay, I think I put that there. Yeah, I think so. I believe I did. Anyway, I'll watch the camera and see if I mixed and made a mistake. Okay, so for this um, savings challenge, I am going to put in 25 for this one. Um, yeah, I don't think I made a, I don't think I made a mistake. So I'm gonna put in 25 for this one, even though I'm, I'm and we just this is like a mystery. At the at the end of the challenge, I just want to see how much I save. So I can choose to put in, I can choose to save 20 or I save or I can choose to save 24. Um, and it's just all a little bit of a mystery. So we'll see what the difference is when we do our bookkeeping and our little reconciliations um, at the end of this month. Okay, let's move on over to our next savings challenge. This is my themed monthly savings challenge. So this is for the month of February. And I am just going to take these two euros out and we're just going to go ahead and put a, f a 10 in here and a 5 just because I just want to have um, real cash now. And we have a little bit of an extra, so we're just going to take all of that out. We're going to take out all of the prop, the prop money because um, we're going to just, you know, put in as much as we can. Right, okay, so we swapped that out. So now we're just gonna rest that there. Okay, so we have three envelopes here that we need to complete in order to complete this saving challenge. I'm just gonna take a six-sided die and we're just gonna go ahead and roll. All right, so the first amount, and as you can see, there's no numbers on here. So everything about this challenge is also a mystery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add everything up. So we need to add four. And then for the next envelope, we need to add three. And then for our final envelope, we need to add four as well. So we need to put in 11. And I believe I put in extra cash just now already. So basically all I'm gonna do is just add 10 because I just took out two, I took out two prop notes that was two euros each, that was four and I put in a five. So that worked itself out. So there we go, our 10 is now in. I'm just gonna grab my marker. Our 11, sorry, is now in. I'm just gonna grab my marker and color those three cash envelopes in right, so we can now move my calculator out of the way all right this savings challenge oopsie i just messed it up just now i hope i didn't it wasn't quite dry just now but that's okay and um, because i have the the inserts in here to protect my cash envelopes okay so the february monthly themed savings challenge which is valentine's themed is now completed Let's now move on over to my Zodiac Savings Challenge, Aquarius. Um, this cash definitely needs to come out because your girl have um, birthday bills that I have to cover. So we're just putting in 10 euros for this one as well. And this goes into my birthday sinking funds. And like I got, like you got, like I told you guys earlier, I had three birthdays this month. One for Pisces and one, two for Aquarius babies, my twins. So took them to a buffet dinner and they ate to their heart's content. Absolutely. And then um, a hotel stay for the weekend. So all of that needs to be covered from off of our credit cards. So that is the Zodiac Saving Challenge now completed. Let's move on over to our next savings challenge here. And this is our seasonal savings challenge. And we have now approached the end of this challenge. I'm gonna take these fives out and I'm gonna go ahead and get a 20. Yeah, why do I have one in here? Oh, this is the 21 from the last one. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that in there. I don't wanna take that out. Um, what I was saying just now. So this is the final savings challenge for the winter season, guys. We are entering the spring season. I am looking forward to the spring. Honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing new weather. I'm tired of the cold. I am over it. I'm looking forward to seeing more sun. I'm looking forward to wearing some more dresses, not no heavy coats and stuff. Are you looking forward to the new season, guys? Are you looking forward to spring? 
any spring break um child um you know vacation plans so we will definitely be switching out this from winter and now we'll be ending into our spring savings challenges which i'm very happy about all right so i do have some challenges to the back here we actually need to finish these as well these are the same challenges from fiona um uh she's got it maria this scratch off we need to finish that this we don't start just yet we're just starting this next month and we also need to finish jerry's um saving challenge as well so what do i need to finish this savings challenge okay so we have a total of i make each one of these letters one euro because i want this to be a low income one i know that fiona has a suggested amount here that make them four but i want this to be relatively low because my cash flow is, is you know is low hello so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two so we need to add 22 euros to fiona's savings challenge and that's because i waited until the last minute to cash off this usually i try to put like a small amount each week so that it doesn't come crashing on me but this month i decided i'm just going to use the youtube money to go ahead and finish this challenge i smudged that just now okay i said 22 just now right okay so what we're going to do is we're gonna get we're gonna get i guess i don't have 22 i have 25 I'm going to just take this out because this is a two in here. So even I there's 20, there's a two in here. I'm going to add 25. So I'm just over by one. So that's fine. That all worked itself out here. Um. so now we have successfully completed Fiona's February savings challenge. And we could not have done that without your support because I had to use my YouTube money because my weekly cash, mon cash flow money is, is, well, I don't, I don't have it. Okay, so now let's move on over to this savings challenge here. And this is from Maria over at She's Got It. This is her February challenge. What I did for this one is I was just making all of them very low income. Um, and the quote for this one is, I'm worthy of financial success. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. We have a bonus scratch off guys. We have a bonus scratch off. Let me just add six to the, now let me see what Maria have in store for me. See, my kids already messed me up on that last scratch off. They do me so bad. Um, oh boy, these scratch offs, I tell you, you know, I love them, but oh my goodness. Okay, Maria, let me see what you have for me today. Oh, let's see what you have for me today. So for our bonus of this lovely affirmation savings challenge, our amount is going to be Oh yay. Oh I'm happy about that. Honestly, I'm sticking to Maria's scratch offs from now on. I'm not messing around with, with nothing else she's she um she's working on her etsy store as well definitely go over and support her please guys she's an amazing amazing supporter honestly maria shout out to you girl um thank you for this small scratch off so we just need to add in 12 for this one i'm very happy about that honestly oh this is such a pretty savings challenge this is not one of the cutest savings challenges ever honestly it is so pretty right okay so what do we what we have going on inside here now um so we have three in here already and i need to add in 12 so basically i'm gonna take this out and i'm just gonna go ahead and put 15 inside here and that should bring me up to date right <clears throat> oh i'm so happy wait wait did i do that correctly I was adding in 12 and there was three in there previously. Nine plus six is 15. Okay, that is correct. So that is another savings challenge that we were able to complete today. Where's my bell? I need to be ringing my bell. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, okay, so 
Now let's move on over to this next scratch off here. This is, we can see that this one is 40 anyway, so we don't even need to stress ourselves. Oh, we know what's coming for this one. I hope I have enough cash to kind of finish everything. 5, 10, 15. I still have Jerry's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I still have Jerry's um, saving challenge that I need to do as well. So I need to find some more cash for that because I'm running out of cash. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is now for this scratch off, we're going to go ahead and um, scratch these off. All right. So here's the first number. That's five. And then here's the second number. That's 10. Then our third number is so pretty. 15. I like the rustic look. I like that I don't scratch it off completely. I feel like that's art. And then finally, our final number is 10. Okay, so 10 plus 15 is 25, 25 plus 10 is 35, and 35 plus 5 is 40. So let us go ahead and oh, so nice to have a vacuum, honestly. You know, I like that distressed look. Doesn't look like art. I hope that doesn't bother anyone. All right, so 40 euros, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 40 euros going into our February savings challenge from Maria has, I mean, she has got it. I don't know why I keep saying Maria has got it, but she definitely does. She definitely does. All right, let us move on over to our final savings challenge for the night, for the evening, for the morning, for the afternoon. I don't know what time you're going to be watching this video. Um. Okay, so this is Jerry challenge. We've only put two euros in this so far. I think this is also 40 as well. 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus... Huh? What? This expensive money? Hold on now. Hold on. 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3. One plus three plus two plus four plus two. Oh wow. Three plus four plus two plus one plus five. And then one plus two plus one plus two plus three. Oh my goodness, this is expensive one, eh? So this would have been forty-eight in total. Because I already have two in there. So we we need to in order to finish this, I needed to add another forty-six. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Your, oh, your girl, 46, take away 25. Your girl only have 25. Five, so we were not able to finish this yet, but I'm going to yeah, I'm going to the bank. I need to finish this off. I can't have this lingering over to the next month. So let's see what we can take off here. Um, so let's do the 5. Okay, let's do another five. So what we're going to do is a four and a one. And another five is going to be a three and a two. And then we have another five. That's going to be a three and a two. And then our last and final five um, is going to be a three and one and one so we just have those few remaining um i'm definitely going to finish those off when we do in our book i'm gonna finish this off so i just have another 21 and plus we still have an iou in the other binder for that so i need to finish that off as well i need to close that out so i am definitely going to have to get some more cash um from the bank to finish off these savings challenges because we are not going into february with any challenges lingering I try not to, you know, I try not to carry them over because it's, it it can it can just start to pile up. Right. Okay, guys. So we finished a few same challenge. We finished all but one. All but one. And thankfully, we had a really small um, 50 envelope challenge because if we had to put in that 43, we would not have had any cash to put into this. And I don't think I would have been able to finish this one either. So we were able to get quite a bit of same challenges completed today. 
all right guys that is everything for today all of the saving challenges and the youtubers that i've mentioned will be linked down in the description please go ahead and give them support if you are all if you are not already thank you guys for spending time with me today i will see you in my next video bye guys